Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'll be showing you the new 20 volt max XR cordless half inch mid range impact wrench. Model number is DCF891 or otherwise known as the Honey Badger 2. This particular tool delivers 600 foot pounds of max fastening torque and 800 foot pounds of max breakaway torque. Designed to help prevent over tightening in forward and run off in reverse, the wrench integrates the precision wrench mode setting to help optimize user's control. I think this precision wrench mode part in the manual is very helpful and they say it better than I ever could articulate. In addition to normal impacting modes, this tool features the precision wrench mode, which grants the user greater control and both fastening and loosening applications. When set in forward, the tool will fasten at 2000 RPM until impact begins. The tool will then pause for 0.5 seconds before continuing to impact at a rate of 3,250 IPM, providing the user with greater control and reducing the chance of over tightening or damaging material. When set in reverse, the tool will impact at normal speed and rate at 3,200 IPM. Upon sensing that the fastener has broken free, the tool will cease to impact and will reduce speed to help prevent runoff or loose hardware. Good to know. Use the updated four mode push button switch to easily transition speeds when needed. It does have a variable speed trigger. First symbol is the precision wrench mode. I like to think of that as the fix it and forget it mode. Mode one is 100 foot pounds max torque. Mode two is 300 foot pounds max torque. And mode three is 600 foot pounds max torque. The breakaway max torque, like I said earlier, is 800 foot-pounds. That's crazy. Okay, here's what the tool sounds like in the precision wrench mode. Mode one. Mode two. And lastly, mode three. There is an LED light right here. Now it isn't directional like the drills I just received, but at least it isn't up here on the tool where your socket or anything else might get in the way. It's down here closer to the base of the tool. Let's see what the trusty, oh, now I looked into the light and I can't see. Okay, the only thing it says about the light that's activated when uh, you press the variable speed trigger, it has a low, high and off switch. It doesn't say, how long that light will stay on and i didn't know if it had had the option like the drills i just received that have a 20 minute light it does not appear that it has that this impact wrench weighs 3.7 pounds that's for the tool only with a power stack it's about four and a half pounds and with a five amp hour you're probably a little over five pounds it's ideal for pipe flanges groove couplings tote wall braces wheel logs, concrete anchor settings, and many other applications where high torque is needed in compact spaces. I'm a woodworker, so I'm not sure I'll use this a whole lot. I'm probably more likely to use it around my farm or on things like my tractor or four-wheeler. I think when I go to demonstrate it, I'll probably use one of those two things because it's easy to record versus finding something in a tight area and trying to film there. Let me give you an idea of size with my trusty tape measure. Okay, the tool itself with, let's see, I'm just gonna do the bare tool. Take the socket off too. So the bare tool measures, let's see, uh, looks like a pretty even seven inches from the nose to the back of it. And it is about eight inches high and the body of it looks to be uh, about three inches. It's nice and compact, not too heavy. Uh, it's ergonomic. I like the rubber over molding that it has these high spots on it. So in the case that it gets dropped or bumped over, the tool is going to hit on these high points here rather than the tool taking the brunt of it. All right, so let's put it back together. It comes with a belt clip, which attaches on either the left side of the tool or on the right in this area, just whatever your preference is. 
It has a hog ring anvil. There's an area of that ring that is missing right here. So when you go to slip the socket on, that will compress. So you just line that up with the interior and push that on. And then when you go to change these out, like so. I would imagine if you're a mechanic and you're working with different size sockets, that is a nice option. Uh, the, the other ones I'm used to have a pin, um, but that is a good way to change those out. One thing I'm really happy to see this product is made in the USA by American Hands. Woohoo! I'm not quite sure what state. It did come to me from South Carolina though. Now that I've told you all about this tool, I'm going to take it outside and give it a trial run. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is try to loosen the nuts on this wheel. I've never had a need to take them off. Um, and this four-wheeler is pretty old. So we will see if the crusty, rusty lug nuts will come off of there with ease. Okay, we're on. There's reverse. All right, let's give it a whirl. Oh, geez. Well, that came right off. Yeah, those come off lickety split. Okay, and then I'm gonna tighten them back on. And I'm just gonna put this um, in mode one. This isn't a real big job. So we're gonna tighten them. Okay. Okay. I didn't break anything, so that's a plus. They went on, they stopped where it felt like they needed to stop. I heard the tool. And so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna step it up a little bit. I'm gonna take uh, this impact wrench and go work on um, a couple of the nuts on my Massey Ferguson tractor. I'm leery of loosening anything um, that's very detrimental to the operation of the tractor just for a video. So I'm gonna pick an area just to demonstrate that is safe. So I'm gonna loosen that bolt right there there on something that if I goof up, isn't going to make the tractor um, not run and render it useless. <laughs> I'm going to get a shot underneath here. I just don't want the washers and that uh, nut to fall off of there. So that bolt easily came loose. This tractor is about 50 years old. I don't know if that has ever been loosened in the last 50 years or if so, when. But it was no match for that impact wrench. Once again, I've picked a nut and a bolt that is in a safe area or, or what I've deemed a safe area. I don't want to mess with anything on the engine. So I've picked the steering wheel to demonstrate this. Okay, yeah, right away. I don't know if you can see from back there, this bolt has come out with ease. I hope that was helpful to see. I don't have, I know a lot of other YouTubers have fancy <sighs> demonstrations where they have uh, torque guns and have settings and, and they're able to do readings. I don't have anything like that yet for my channel, so this is the next best thing or the closest thing I can do to demonstrate this product in real life use. So I hope you enjoyed that forensic reenactment. If you're interested in this item, I did see it online. The Bear Tool cost around 229 to 249 range. And I've also seen kits online listed for around 429. That includes the battery, charger, and a bag. I'll include shopping links to my affiliates in the description. 
please feel free to shop around in any of them to help support my channel. If you don't follow me already, I hope that you will, and I hope that you'll also ring the bell. I'm on Instagram and TikTok. My nickname is Miss DeVault. If you wanna find out how that transpired, I do have a video telling a little bit about my story. It's pinned at the top of my channel and it's called My Story. It'll tell you how the crazy lady that you see before you came to be. As always, I thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.